Okay, so this is going to be a quick video, not using the tripod or anything. I just wanted to mention this because after researching and whatnot, I couldn't find an answer to this, so I figured it out myself. I'm going to turn the lights on so you can see what's going on here. This is a uh, Dell Trinitron P992 CRT monitor. This is the same one I've been using for years. Uh, I actually, for a while, had a... Uh, HP monitor hooked up because I needed to use a widescreen display, but I don't need to anymore. And honestly, I don't like widescreen displays. So, because I needed to do two things at once. I don't anymore. This monitor is back. Anyway, what I wanted to mention about this is something that happens with these a lot, and I haven't... I knew it was a problem, but it was one of those things, like, when I was using this monitor before, it... It happened so gradually that I didn't even notice it, but then going back from the other one, which was working just fine, to this, it was like, whoa, yeah, this is, this is out of whack. And of course, I'm talking about these Sony Trinitron monitors, and this is a Dell, but it's a Trinitron, rebadged Sony, Sony made this. Uh, these Sony Trinitron monitors, Sony does some annoying shit, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, they have an issue, most CRT monitors with age and use get dimmer, but these actually get brighter. I'll, I'll demonstrate in a minute why that's bad, if you don't already know. If you've clicked onto this video, you probably are looking for an answer to it, uh, to how to fix this. Anyway, they get brighter, and there's some debating on why it is but it's a software problem in the monitor itself I guess that would technically be firmware I don't know and it's basically trying to compensate for the CRT aging but it's way overcompensating and it gets to the point where you have the brightness the user brightness setting turned all the way down to zero and the brightness is just way up there sometimes it gets really bad where you can even see like retrace lines and stuff and the proper way to fix it is to get a serial to TT, TTL adapter and use like a old computer, like a Windows 98 machine to hook up to it and then hook that adapter into a proprietary plug or something that's in the back of here and use a piece of software, I think a Sony DOS or something to, uh, to adjust the gamma uh, on the on the monitor you know most most CRT devices have a little screw all you have to do is take the back off and turn the screw on the flyback but Sony of course had to do it to where you have to have a special special device special software and stuff to do it and then there's also that's the proper way to do it the improper way to do it is to take the back off of it and find a resistor and I, there's a video I'll link the video on the proper and improper way to do it there's a resistor that you can remove and put a higher resistance resistor in there and that will lower it. That's the improper way to do it. And what I've done is not, is uh, basically putting the band-aid on a gunshot wound type of thing, although it will work. Now I'm not sure how the controls are in some different monitors, but at least on this one I've gotten it fixed using the user settings and I've gone down, let's see here, here you go, you can see obviously that flickering is not really happening, but you can see that we've got proper brightness here, and the black is black. Now what'll happen, I'm going to hit the brightness here and turn it up. Okay, and that's about what it looked like before. You can see that, yes, you can still see it, but the brightness is way up, so this is supposed to be black, but it's not. So, I'm going to turn the brightness back down. And that's what you want it to look like. You want it to look like nice and bright, the colors and stuff, but you don't want the brightness to be the black level to be way up because then everything's going to look really hazy 
So this is what it, you want it to look like. So what did I do to adjust it? Well, it's actually quite simple. I went down in the menu, you know, you use these buttons to navigate the menu. Go up. Uh, I went down to color and put the color mode. They have different color modes. Let's see here. If I put it, you can see I put it on preset and you can see it went up some. I forget which one it was on, but you can see the difference there, sort of. Yeah. So I went to expert. And then it gives you the option to adjust each color. All of these were up at 100. I turned them down to 50. You can turn them down even more, and it will be even darker. So I just turned each color down. I didn't mess with the contrast. I can do the contrast individually. Now, I don't know why those, those are different. What difference that makes. I didn't play with the contrast. Anyway, uh... You can play with your contrast manually, you know, the contrast isn't what you're worried about, it's the brightness. So I turn these down to 50, but you can play around with them and see where they look good. Red, green, and blue, the only important thing, red, green, and blue should be at the same level. In most cases, unless you have a weird case where your red gun is really worn out and your green and blue are strong, but that's generally not the case. So you want red, green, and blue to be at all the same level. So I have them all at 50% where they were at 100% before, and you can see that that made the black level nice and dark. And other than that, this monitor looks really nice. The colors are great. The focus is great. Once again, obviously the flickering's not really there. You can see the color bar here, and it's actually a little bit on the dim side, but I'd rather that. The high voltage regulation is great. And the sharpness is also great. So, yeah, that's just... These Sony monitors are great. Sony Trinitrons are some of the best out there. But it's just annoying little things like that that most people get rid of these for. You can adjust the brightness down like this, or you can do it the proper way. But... Yeah, somebody would, somebody, most people would throw this out because of that. They go, oh, it doesn't look good anymore. Let me get a modern one with a flat screen. And these are just so much better. And I mean, look at how sharp this is. Look at that convergence. It's spot on even up in the corners. It's just this, you, you can't beat this. So with that small adjustment, we were able to fix this. Now, depending on how bad your issue is, like I said, you can turn those down even more. I'm, 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 I would imagine that if it's really, really bad, like the point you're seeing retrace lines, you might have to either do the proper fix or the improper fix, and not the band-aid fix, because this is basically the band-aid fix. Of course, I'm not sure how long... It's not going to get any worse, I don't think. If it does, I'll turn them down some more, but I don't think it's going to get to the point where it's extremely bright, because what will happen is the CRT will age on top of that, and then it'll get dim again. So I think it'll be okay. If not, I will do the proper fix and get that adapter, because I have plenty of Windows 98 computers I can hook it right up to with a serial port. I just... This is the lazy way of doing it. You just hit the buttons on the front of it. You don't even have to pick it up off your desk. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to some people. This is, like mentioned, a Dell P992. This will work with presumably any Sony uh, Trinitron computer display. Um, the Apple ones, I'm not sure. Because I think Apple... Although they use Sony tubes, they don't use the actual Sony 
like Sony didn't make the monitors, they just made the CRT, so it might not even have this issue, I don't know. But I know IBM used some of them, Dell used some of them. Uh, so yeah, if you're having this issue and you have a Trinitron monitor, it's definitely worth giving this a shot before you go and take the monitor all apart and either solder in the resistor or get any special connectors and software because this looks just as good as it ever did. I hope this somebody found this video helpful. Uh, thank you for watching and feel free to leave a comment if you have one.